Welcome back to the Artist Talk series. As you know by now, I'm Mike and I run the Spray Days YouTube channel, which is full of graffiti and street art content from video edits to artist interviews. Today's guest on the Artist Talk series is a prolific UK graffiti writer. He's known for consistently crushing it and documenting everything on an awesome YouTube channel. He's a member of ZNC, EA and CRZ crews. He's painted across Europe with the likes of Rasco and Zuki. Um, he's also painted at the Junkyard Jam before. So with that said, it's my pleasure to introduce to you Ghost. How's it going, mate? Yeah, how you doing, doing buddy? Good. Oh, I'm wicked, man. I'm wicked. Um, I can see you're out painting. Um, I mean, it's lovely weather at the moment. Have you been taking advantage of the current situation going on? Yeah, yeah, I've been getting out, like, social distancing on my own, you know what I mean, getting stuff yeah. done. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Taking full advantage. <laughs> and you're noticing it's quiet out there, you're not having any trouble, you're just getting away with stuff at the moment. Yeah, well, up till this point, now, oh. nowadays it's back to normal, kind of. Yeah. Rammed yeah. everywhere. Yeah, it's feeling a bit more normal now, isn't it? Everyone's sort of... Yeah, yeah. Out. Do you think that's just the time? Do you think that's what everyone's just fed up now? Or To be honest, yeah, I, I think it's got to the point now. I think some people ain't even believing what's going on. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. It's one of those. Yeah, there's a lot of confusion. Yeah, a lot of confusion. I think that they've, they've done, they've behaved up till now. And then now they're thinking like, is this really happening? Like, let's, let's just get out, forget it. Oh, totally, man. Totally. That, that's, that's what they're doing now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, while you're getting out and painting and stuff, um, I mean, there's no police around. You've not got in any trouble or anything. You just sort of... Nah, none of that, none of that. To be honest, uh, it's probably say it's been very quiet up till this point. I mean, there's a lot more people exercising and bikers and dog walkers, but yes, no trouble, really. That's good to hear. That's good to hear. And I've seen you've done a couple of NHS tributes, stuff like that. That's wicked to see. Yeah, yeah, because a lot of the spots I paint, they're, they're, a lot of, it gets a lot of traffic, do you know what I mean? Like people walking dogs, bikes, so that they enjoy it. They enjoy to see something that's up with the times and, yeah, you know, it's, it ain't always just, just strictly your name and graph. Like when it's got little messages and that, people really love that. They respond to it more. 100%. And if you've been getting a good response from them pieces, people repost it and... Yeah, loads. Like, like people, I say, they've really been loving it because it sticks with the times and that, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, 100%, 100%. And where are you now? Just uh, getting some some sunshine on the canal and that. Nice little spot there, man. Nice little, it, 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 there's tons of spots around sort of that sort of area. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, it's, it's got a few nice spots and that. Uh, just, just what it needs, you know what I mean? Not too many, not, not low. Just, just nice. You can just come and relax. Do what you need to do. Definitely, definitely. And is a lot of it in outside there, or is it like a roadside? Or yeah, you got a bit of everything to manage. You got some nice spots, roadside, nice spots, canal side, nice spots that are, you know, you got like a really big hoff here as well. Yeah, uh, which is, you know, what I mean, it's a big, big open abandoned place, but there's that much wall space. And like opportunity to do madness there. Oh man, oh man, it's crazy how many writers sort of come from that area because a small town outside Birmingham. But there's, there's, I guess there's a scene there. There's, there's like Rask and sort of yeah. stuff around there. Yeah, so there's a lot. There's a lot of people from from around these these ways that you don't really know are from them ways. But, but yeah, it's harvest a couple of good ones. Yeah, yeah. And were you born? You were. Uh, no comment in that. But. <laughs> <laughs> no so, comment. Uh, but going back to the start, then when you were born, uh, when did you start painting? At what age did you pick up a can? Uh, picked up a can probably, probably properly picked up a can. I probably just left school, so when I was about, about seventeen or something, I picked up a can. Yeah. But up to that point, I'd always done graph like paper ways, like books and everything else. I'd always done it. Right. And what what sort of got you into that? Did you see? Was it something on TV, or had you seen something in a magazine, or? No, no. I I, I really can't say. Like it's just something I've always done. Like I can't, I can't really say. I'd, I'd seen it and and been inspired. Just something like when I was at school, 
it just be something I had to do. Like, so when they, I, I enjoyed being given a fresh book. Like, if it was the start of a new, like, you, you get all your fresh books, and I just had to do something on the, the front or the backs or in the pages. But it's not something I ever really grew up like as I was little. It's not something I grew up seeing that that inspired me. It just it was just already in me. If you get yeah. what I mean. Yeah, totally, totally. So there was, it wasn't that like you were drawing inspiration from anywhere else. You, it was almost just like no. writing your name on a table or just. just yeah, yeah. I mean, my my school got heavily hit like when I was when I was at school. So I, I'd done tables, whiteboards, everything with permanent <laughs> marker. Got to I got I got almost through school before before someone like grasped me up there at the, at school. It was I was on my last year and, and a girl grasped me up like and my mom oh, and everything had to come in. Oh, my, my, mom, my mom and that come in but, but my mom was like like kind of like upset that she'd been dragged out of work just because oh, i put some put some marker on a, on a whiteboard and that oh, oh, that's ridiculous man <laughs> and, and, and and with the with that sort of thing with the sketching um well is it just practice that's evolved you did you just draw and draw was it repetition or like did you have friends yeah yeah a it? lot of it like when i first when i first got a can it was just a lot of like what i'd like thing you'd done do you know what i mean what yeah. i'd worked on through school or through at home and that and it wasn't really i didn't start really getting like the inspiration and, and seeing other stuff until like you know, we like as I got older, and we started going over like like the the big half that's by me, and I was seeing all all like writers and that. I mean, some days I'd I'd pull up there to um to the half, and um there'd be like a full a full production going on about thirty people painting, and and I'd sit there all day. I'd literally sit there from from start to finish until uh, the last person was gone, just watching. Oh, so was it, was it a passion? Did you enjoy just watching it before you, you know, got involved? Yeah, like, like say, well, say I was still young, so I didn't really think about like progressing it to to actually doing it with a paint and that. You know what I mean? You know, until yeah. I started watching it, and then that's when I, I I've actually brought like I think it was two colours from the local DIY shop. I brought like a red and a blue, I think, and I did did some really crap piece but, but it was that was the first time but yeah once i started watching people and that it was uh it, it progressed from there was there any writers that caught your eye at the time that you remember that stand out to you yeah the, the first ones the first ones that really caught my eye when i when i first like that wanted me to get into the paint side of it with the, with the cans was um uh, obviously it's all changed now but it used to be uh, Vault and NEMS ETC crew is what what the first ones I was seeing. Yeah, uh, they was they was heavily hitting like my areas and that, and uh, that really got me. Like I loved I loved everything I see in theirs. I was like driving around and and, and cycling around places just to try and find their stuff. Sick. But yeah, and then and then from there I think it progressed. Then it was like um, Item and Diva. Um, and fuels yeah. all TBC crew and that then like that's what that was that's the crew that was in then but the, all them I'd sit over here most days just watching and paint and I, I loved everything they did like that's wicked man that, and did, did you have some mates that went with you or were you just sitting on your own checking it out most times I was on my own I mean like we uh, the the half was kind of like a playground as well sometimes we'd be over there destroying stuff and that just being kids like you know what I mean yeah but um but yeah, um, none of my mates were really into it. I mean, I tried a couple of times like to get them involved, but they weren't really into that side of it. I mean, yeah. like one of my best mates, like Mad who does all the urbexing and that. Yeah, he, 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 he used to always be, but he was more into just the exploring and totally and stuff. Like, you never really. I mean, I'd give him a can now and then, and he'd end up just drawing a dick or <laughs> something. Do you know what I mean? But, but yeah, I was the only one really with my mates that started it. I had, I had a mate called um, called Sticky, he was called at, work, at school, and uh, he used to paint a little bit. He was the one that I did my first piece with, and he used to write like stick or sticky. No, uh, but he, he, he fell off like he did. That. I guess that happens to a lot of people. I mean, life gets in the way, jobs and everything. It costs a lot to paint. It's an effort. Yeah, though. yeah. 
it, it is. It's a lot of money. I mean, up until up until I met my missus and that, and I obviously moved out of the house and, and got my own house and kids. I mean, I think I was I was spending like like six hundred pound of my own wages like a month on paint. I was because I was because I had no I had no other thing I was going to work and then back home. Yeah. So I had nothing really to spend money on but paint, and I was out every day. Like every day, I was out doing a little bit of summer. Yeah, and it was an addiction but, for you. Like every time you bought it, it's like you run out of paint. I need more paint. Yeah, yeah. I was, I, like I say, because because I had no other real responsibilities, like uh, like say, a missus and kids and and bills and that. I was I was really going wild with it. Like all my pay every month guaranteed when I got paid, it was like big big massive orders I was spending. It's crazy, man. It's crazy. And were you just going out with your mate who was Urbex and finding these places and then painting at them as well? Yeah, yeah. It was, it was like, to be honest, that didn't come till like till later on, but it was like a match made in heaven, really. Do you know what yeah. I mean? Yeah, it's like it, a team. He, he, team. He, was, he was very passionate about the Urbexing and that. And, and obviously, like, as a grapher, you just love to paint everything. So I was going with him. He was he was loving life, exploring all these abandoned buildings and that. And it was just all, all free wall space for me to get creative on. Totally, totally. And is that another aesthetic? As in, like you know, the the abandoned buildings, the the rundown areas. I mean, it looks totally different. The graph sort of sits so well in it. Yeah, yeah. And it's it's, it's sometimes it's eerie, like to see, like because obviously you go in these places that have been abandoned for years and run down. And you think like, and then we, when you suddenly turn a corner and you've got like a really nice graffiti piece on there, you think, whoa, like I thought we was the only people he had, you know what I mean? It's, it's wicked. It's eerie and, yeah. Is there any that you remember like that, that you were just blown away by certain spots or anything where you saw something? There's there's a few to go, like there's too many to really notice and that, but like we've had some, some weird experiences and that as well. Like uh, the one place we went to was a, um, a school. Yeah. It was an old abandoned school. Um, I think it was up Smedic Way. Right. And um, we was in there and we'd, we'd, we'd been all round, done every room, painted, done a character and that, like full colour piece. Yeah. And then on the way out, the whole route, the whole route that we, we came in had now been barricaded off. Like, oh, shit. <laughs> doors, doors had been locked. Uh, barriers had been put up, cones and, and tape and that. And I was like, yo, what, what's going on? <laughs> uh, really weird experience. And we had to try and find another way out. But yeah. like, it's, it's an abandoned place. We didn't even know how that had happened. Did you ever find out or was it just, just a mystery? No, nah, like we, we, we just got out of there, to be honest. It was, it was a very weird, weird thing to think that we'd been in there. And then while we was in there, someone had obviously been in and, and then barricaded everything up while we was in there. It's pretty sketchy. Crazy. I was going to ask, I mean, you're doing these ab abandoned spots, you must come into some sketchy situations. Is that one of the sketchiest things that's ever happened to you? Yeah, like, just, there's loads. <laughs> there is loads. I mean, there was even another time we was up um, the, big, uh, the big office block plan. I think it's the Bristol Road in Birmingham. It's not down now, I believe. Right. It was in there and um, we was painting and I'd done, I'd done like a window, a window one that you could see from the road backwards. I don't right. remember that piece. Um, I did that, and then after I'd finished, we went up a floor to the next level and stood there in the middle of the floor, like you could see him across the way. There was, there was um, like a junkie guy, and he was totally naked, totally naked, arms bleeding, like he'd been injecting his all arms bleeding, and he was oh, popping man. zits on his bollocks oh. in the middle of the floor, and it, it, oh, it was, he was totally night and he's he's literally looked up at us and i'm almost like like waved at us to say like like you're right well right. Like, this is my home <laughs> holy shit man <laughs> proper horrible like, I, I i almost froze because like yeah. it was somewhere out of out of like some freaky film because like, oh, all his arms was covered in blood and then he's popping zits on his balls oh, and uh, bro oh. <laughs> Does that sort of thing keep you going, though? I mean, the hijinks is a big part of it. The sort of adrenaline. Yeah, yeah, like, that, that's the fun of Urbex. You never know what you're going to come across. Do you know what I mean? It's one of those things. Totally, man. And, I, and um, 
was probably the next one, obviously, that was, I don't know if you've seen the pictures, but like Madge, Madge had a serious accident in the one. I don't know if, you, if you've seen the picture on my Instagram of his, his all bleeding. No, no. Was in, uh, yeah, he was in another school up uh, back end of Dudley Way somewhere. And uh, what happened was uh, we was in there exploring and I was just about to start painting and the police turned up. Yeah. Police turned up and they climbed the gates and they were shouting at us like, if you run, the dogs will get you. We've got six dogs the other side, don't run. So I've like kicked my bag in a bush and, and just walked towards them like, like normal. Yeah. And we've climbed out and they're asking us what we're doing and we're telling them like, oh, we do Urbex, we've come yeah. for some pictures, yeah. the same video. Next thing you know, I've rung, I've rung Madge to say like, yeah, the police are here, like come out. Next yeah. thing you know, I've rung him and he's come running around the corner, covered in blood. What? On the way out, the, on the way out to the one building, he slipped, he slipped and gone down the, a broke window and put all, all the bottom of his arm open. Oh, Proper man. bleeding, he was. Shit. Um, the ambulance come and everything, but the, the police, said the, the police woman that was there, got her fingers in his wounds just to stop it bleeding. Oh man. It, it, was like proper mad. He actually thought he was going to die that day, believe I it or not. Man, I bet. That sounds so heavy, <laughs> man. <laughs> well, on, on, a, on a bright note, it kind of saved like me, like, because they was going in to, to start searching the place and that, like, so if they'd have found my big bag of paint and that, yeah, <laughs> it might have gone a different way. But in a way, him, him having that accident kind of saved the whole situation. Totally, man. Totally, totally. And is are these sort of abandoned stuff? Is that in your area, or you're traveling? You're traveling. In oh. uh, yeah, like I, I, like I say again before before I had like responsibilities, and that. I used to travel. Uh, I went abroad a few times. I mean, I, I painted in Berlin, painted in Paris, painted Greece, uh, painted Spain. Yeah. I've been a few places painting, but I see all the, all this was before I had a, a family and and everything. So now that's harder to to get out than that. Of course, of course. And any of them cities stand out to you? Did you have it? I mean, Berlin's one of my favourites. Do you have any sort of yeah? Cities? But Berlin's amazing, amazing place. I mean, we was there for about three days, and not once did we, not once did we like run into any trouble. But we was yeah. we was painting and hitting everything. Um, but I'd probably say Paris kind of tops it. Paris in like in like the kind of outer bits of Paris. Yeah, it's so heavily bombed and like like it don't seem like anyone cares. You just walk down the street and there's a there's a box truck there. Just going to someone on it, like like it literally seems like it's a forgotten world almost. Yeah, yeah, like, it's, it's mad. It's accepted almost. They know it's gonna happen. So yeah, it's yeah. Low. But it's so heavily bombed. I mean, you're walking along the the, the the street and that, and you've got like, like under people's windows and stuff has got like dubs and I'm like whoa, what the, what's going on? It's taking it's a whole new world. Yeah. And with that, did you meet any other crews or anything? I mean, you, you're part of a few crews, so did, do you go over with your crews or is it solo missions? Or? Nah, nah, nah. Because when, when I was traveling, I hadn't really, hadn't really like formed any crews or anything at the time. I mean, okay. I painted with a few people and really like, like some of the crews, I mean, now have like come over the past like a uh, couple of years, like okay. so. Wicked. But when I was travelling, it was more or less just me, really. Yeah. Oh, that's wicked, man. And how, how did you form these crews? I mean, how, how do you go about that sort of thing? Uh, well, EA obviously is mine. Like, that's, that's yeah. the crew that I started with, um, with OSEC. And uh, that's, that's slowly grew. Like, I mean, we've got like Wish and Jet and that on board now. Like, that's, that's like our starting crew. Um, but as for the other ones, I mean, uh, RSK, that's uh, a crew that's uh, run by Schema, that's his own little crew. Yeah. And that's a crew me and him started because he was, he was the first person that actually like really approached me to want to paint, like, do you know what I mean? He was a, he, the one that said, like, come on, start, start painting with me, which, which really helped bring on like some progress for me, do you know what I mean? Totally. 
And uh, then obviously over the past couple of years now, I've been in CRZ from Brum, which is a really big crew, got a lot of history and that, do you know what I mean? Totally. So that's from way back in the Brum scene. Um, but yeah, Chaw, Chaw, like, I'm honoured to like wreck it for him. I mean, he put me in it, he didn't need to. Yeah. Um, but yeah, but it's, it's one of those. And um, so the Zinc, Zinc crew is like a worldwide crew, isn't it? Yes, that's all yeah. that. That's all yeah. the entire world. They just try and they try and get together as many like different styles and talents from around the world just to push, Virgil. push the same kind of yeah. That's sick, man. That's sick. That's sick. And did you get involved through that through YouTube or the internet or social media or? Uh, I think it's Instagram. I yeah. think they approached me on um, Slack. I think is one of the ones that run, runs the main main thing. That Slacky approached me on Instagram, just saying like. They really enjoy what what I do and like they the, the see what I'm about. Like, and the, the, would you would you want to rep those letters? That's I was like, yeah, of course. I mean, they all want to put. I mean, some of the artists they've got on there are like unreal. Like, I, I shouldn't really be on the lineup, but <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean. But, but it says a lot. I'm on it. I'm on it to rep that as well. Yeah, totally, man. That's that's totally sick. Um, and with, with, I see you wearing the loop hat. Have you always used loop paint? I mean, I always see you repping Al Fresco Dave. Yeah, loop. Just, just at the minute, this loop is is probably the best brand out at the minute. I mean, in my, that's my opinion. That's how I feel. I mean, it's got everything. It's got right pressure, uh, club as well. Um, it's just, it's just perfect. Like, you don't really need to do a lot with it. I mean, the only caps I use is a pink dot. Fat yeah. cap and the stock cap that comes on the loop, and I do everything I need to do with those two caps. I mean, you, you, you haven't really got to do anything with the paint. It's that you easy. Fade. All, all the colours are decent. You don't get any colours that are really like horrible. And but yeah, Al Fresco supports me a lot, man. I got a lot of respect for, for those people. Oh man! I mean, uh, they, they see what I'm about. They see what. To see what I do, and like I, I respect them a lot. I mean, some really nice people. I ain't really got anything bad to say about it. I mean, totally, man, totally. And it's awesome that like reaching out in social media and stuff can connect you in that way. I mean, have you found that having your YouTube channel and having such a good following, do you get just sort of opportunities coming out of the blue? To, I do and I don't. Like, I mean, I don't get as many as you think think you would like through it. Yeah, I mean, like I say, like you say, I've got a, lot, a very big following in that, but I don't get as much, I don't get as much interaction as you think. Like, like I don't really get many invites to jams and stuff. As in, like you know, you see some people and they're going to like these huge jams abroad and stuff. Like, I, I, I never really get any of that. That's crazy. But, but as, as for just the love from from the people watching, that that's that's what it's about. Do you know what I mean? I, I get I get a lot of messages saying like oh you inspire me or thank you like oh help I'm, that's what if I can do that I'm happy do you know what I mean awesome man it's awesome just, what, just what, through, I just love doing this so if that if that can inspire someone to like I mean okay it might sound dodgy that you're inspiring someone to do vandalism <laughs> yeah. but in this day and age it's a lot better than I'm walking around carrying knives and guns oh, or a hundred percent. Injecting yourself with drugs, do you know what I mean? Expressing yourself on a wall for others to see, I mean, it, it's still up in the air whether it's a crime, you know. Yeah. And it, it, with the YouTube thing, is that a reason you've always documented it? Did you always want to just sort of put it out there? What made you sort of start filming what you were doing? Uh, just, just like I say, just to try and, try and push a bit more of the coverage, like people, what, what people can see, do you know what I mean? Because we live in an age now where most kids or, and most people don't travel, do you know what I mean? Like, a lot, like the age of the internet and technology, I mean, you can paint somewhere now and the whole world can see, they ain't got to come and travel and look. And so why, why stick, in my eyes, why stick in the past when, you know, the future's coming fast? <laughs> do you know what I mean? Hundred percent. So, what? Why not take advantage of it? And I mean, like I say I was probably one of the first that, that actually started doing the YouTube videos and that. And I mean, I got a lot of hate for it, a lot of very lot of negativeness and hate for it. But I'm, I'm luckily I'm one of those people that don't take none of it 
you know what I mean? I, I just Definitely ignore sure that, that and, and just do it. But is that, do you think that's because it, they think it's sort of like a hidden thing and it's like a, that you're showing something that you shouldn't, you know? Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't know the true meaning behind why, but I, I just don't know. I mean, at the end of the day, I'm just doing what I love. Uh, exactly. And that's, all, that's all, all I want to do. I'm just doing something I love. Yeah. Sharing it with the people. You either like it, you hate it. It, it don't make no difference to me. 100% man, 100%. And what was there a certain video that you think sort of kicked things off where you where you noticed you were getting a bigger following? Uh, I don't, you know, to be honest, it just, it just took off. Just took off like one night. Like, I mean, it started off really low, like I wasn't getting any views or nothing. And then all of a sudden it, it just exploded. So I can't really say myself what, what it was. Yeah. After doing it. You were just consistently doing stuff and getting stuff out there for yourself and it just naturally happened. Yeah, yeah. That's sick, man. That's sick. And I mean, we, we touched on travelling before and painting at jams and stuff. I mean, you painted at the B-side hip-hop festival with Rasco. Yeah. What, what was that like? I mean, he's another YouTube legend, man. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean like, believe it or not, I had, I had other plans already on that day when I got asked, so... I kind of turned up a bit late to that jam, but right. I was still ad I was still adamant I was going to turn up. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, but yeah, it was good. I mean, I painted right next to him. Um, I was playing catch up a little bit, but uh, yeah, it seemed really nice, dude. Like, man, like, like, I mean, the language language barrier was there a little bit, but I mean, yeah, he seemed really really sound, dude. I used to talk to him about about anything. Like, he had time for. You. I mean, everyone that was that was stopping and realising it was him. Like, you know, he had time to turn around and talk to him and that. So, I mean, yeah, fair play to him. He's just another guy just doing what he loves and, and, and videoing it, do you know what I mean? Like, sharing it with you. Like. You've got to love that. And is there anyone else that you'd like, like, writers that you like, like, um, that you want to paint with or maybe not even paint with, just that you like? Well, there's, there's a few that I'd love to paint with. I mean, some of them are in the works. It's just getting the, the time to, to actually get the wall going. Yeah. So like, uh, my, my big inspiration, like, you've got, like, Stir, UPC. Yeah. He, like, some of the stuff he does is mad. Like, I, 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 sometimes I'll get a picture of it and I'll just stare at it for a good, good half an hour. Just like, whoa, like, how's he got this here and that there? And, you know what I mean? Um, but others are, like, your guesser. Um, keep six yeah. from Canada, like all those, like they're just they're just stuff I love. Like them, the kind of styles and that that, that to me speak yeah. speak heaps and bounds. Yeah, totally, totally. And if you got a fa favorite style of graffiti, I mean, like bombing, piecing, you know, what what's your favorite thing to do? I, 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 I uh, to me, it, it drains on like a couple of months of like dead passionate. I just like crowns and dubs. And then all of a sudden the colours will pop back in. Like if you get a good day, you, you like to just relax, do a full colour, a couple of characters. But yeah, it fades in and out. But I think the true, the true love of my heart <laughs> would be like a chrome bulb. I, I, I get more, I get a lot more passion from doing a quick, nice little chrome dub somewhere than I do sometimes from a full colour and a character. Yeah. Uh, you know, it's mad, it's mad the feeling you get from just. Especially if it's in a nice little spot that you'll always glance, like if it's a roadside or on the canal side, and you know you're going to see it regular. It, it brings joy, like it brings a lot of joy. Totally. And how much of the painting is actually doing the painting? Do you enjoy? Like, is it mostly the act of doing it, or is it looking at it after, or is it the whole thing? I, th I think to it's just getting out and like. Like just just being out here and doing stuff, do you know what I mean? Like just just having a good vibe and and relaxing. Like if you're doing a full color and you're somewhere nice and chilled and calm, like it's good to just just vibe. Like take your time, have a look at it, see what you can do. Yeah. Like I I, I, lo I love just being out, and I'm one of these people that sometimes well, I, I enjoy like my own company sometimes. Totally. I, I, I ain't gotta be with loads of people like to to enjoy my time. I. I I could come out one day and walk the length of the canal from from Brum to Scotland or whatever, wherever it goes, you know yeah, what I mean? I'd, I'd be yeah. over the moon. I'd be over the moon about it on my own. But. 
And with that, with, with, with that on the canals and stuff, I mean, I know a lot of it's illegal spots, but do you feel now that it's sort of stuff's becoming legal? I mean, people, when they're walking past, they're not pulling their face, they're, they're talking about the colours and they end up speaking to you. I mean, do you see that changing? Yeah, types? yeah definitely. I mean, you, you do get the odd person, like, like pass a, 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 like a nasty comment or, or they just don't even acknowledge you there. Like, do you know what I mean? But... Um, but yeah, most people, and believe it or not, it's main, uh, a lot more the older generation, like the old people, they, they love it. Tell totally. stuff and talk. To yeah, they, they love the colours, they love the fingers. Because at the end of the day, like a lot of the stuff that you, that you cover is either just like like um, like kids' tags or, yeah. or dicks or racist tropes. Do you know what I mean? It's, it's, you're only covering that, so... People love it. People love the but so much better to look at. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's wicked. And and do, do you, are you open with your family about what you do? I mean, obviously you've got your little girl and your wife and that. I mean, they obviously know. Yeah, about yeah, it. yeah. The, my, my wife just accepts it. To be honest, <laughs> yeah, you know, like, that was terms of agreement when we met. You know what I mean? This this is what I do. Accept it or. <laughs> But, um, but yeah, my, my daughter loves it. My daughter's always drawing and, and doing stuff. So, so hopefully, like, sticking to the good side of it, I'd say. But hopefully she grows up and, and enjoys it. And um, yeah. hopefully my other little boy, like my little man, hopefully he enjoys it as well. Oh, man. But That's my so daughter's cool. always drawing, so hopefully she's going the same way as me. Yeah, and is that something you'd like to see? Like, would that one in your mind in 10 years to see him painting at walls and, and you know? Yeah, definitely, it's like, that, that'd be like, that'd be like, oh, like an, I don't say an achievement, but just something to look back like, whoa, like, like to, to stand side by side with, with like one of your children painting a wall that's something, something that I'm so passionate about and to see that they grew up and be passionate about it, that, that'd be like a blessing that would, that's so fucking sick, man. That would be awesome. And I mean, obviously, with that, you know, with graffiti, you know, there's obviously the trials and tribulations that come. I mean, do you think kids have got to uh, experience that sort of thing to become sort of interesting people? Uh, yeah, I suppose. Like I say, you can, you can take this as far as, as you're willing to push it. Do you know what I mean? I mean, there's a lot of writers out there doing, doing, amazing things like for the media and, and, and everything i mean like i mean uh, just recently gent gent um he's just done that that i don't even know what word to use for it but that piece in brum with the coronavirus and yeah, and yeah. All, all the the firefighters and stuff there like that that yeah. piece is amazing like like you, you you can't say anything negative about it it's just fucking amazing but perfect but yeah like people can do that i mean you see people that are doing like uh, I don't know if it's in Germany or some of them doing like sides of multi-story flats and you know what I mean and and painting the full sides of them yeah. yeah 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 so like it's as far as you want to push it I mean if you're going to come into it to just do the vandal side that's great if you want to if that's, if that's what you want to do then do it if you want to push it to full colours and, and make a name of yourself and like just do it like at the end of the day, it's better, it's better than all the, all the negative things in the world. Oh, 100%, man. And, and do any other crews push you? I mean, like One Up and, and them sort of guys, are, are they inspiring for you to get your crew together and go out? Yeah, there's, there's, yeah, there's so much inspiration. Like, like, and you've got so much inspiration for the different paths of graffiti. I mean, that's a lot. You've got uh, One Up that they inspire you to really, like, if you wanted to go bombing and that, like, that's... The, the stuff they do and, and like how they're, they're, a, they're a joint effort team like it's amazing like, it's, like you, that's why they win to the army that's why they're, so they're, they're, they're having so much fun mm -hmm. and um uh, do you watch videos yourself i mean on youtube and it, that sort of yeah yeah that's that's all i watch to go i mean I, I I have a telly at home, but the kids own it. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> they watch they watch cartoons from morning till night, so that's their oh. their telly. Yeah. So, but yeah, I'm always watching anything graph related on YouTube and stuff. Or I mean, even you got like that Instagram uh, TV now, and yeah, IGTV yeah. and stuff like. That. I watch all anything graph related. I watch it. Yeah. Is there any channels or certain artists you'd sort of recommend for people to check out or look out for? Uh, yeah, there's there's a few. I mean, 
there's a there's a guy got a really good channel uh, like you got rascal you got um dying um but um small i mean small nova he's got a good channel he, he does a lot of stuff where he shows you more in-depth stuff and, and real realistic stuff i mean yeah so much out there to watch that's they say i'll watch anything i will that's awesome and talking about smart i saw you were doing some like digital collabs with him and stuff like that where he'd done these train mock-ups for people to paint on yeah yeah because as they say it's the age of the internet so you ain't got to if you enjoy the graph and that i mean like no disrespect to any of like the hardcore train writers and stuff like, i mean i envy those people you know i'd, I'd love to like in another life or if I went back, I'd love to have that opportunity to go and do some real trains and that. But for me at the minute, it's not like my children are like, they're, they're, they're the only thing that's actually overtook graffiti on my, my, my list of passion. Yeah. So like, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't ever want to put them through that. But for everyone that does that, like, I'm, I'm so jealous. <laughs> do you know yeah. what I mean? I'd love to do trains and, and, and but. But yeah, but for every, for the kids of today that just want to do some of fun and looks like they've done trains, and I mean, it's a great thing. Do you know what I mean? Technology's moved on where it looks like they have, and they'll get an enjoyment from that without having the fear of, you know what I mean, like 100%. prison or, or trouble or anything. So, 100%. And do you think that's helping? Like, I mean, you've got the, the iPad now with these sort of procreates and everything where you can just sort yeah. of try and try and, and, and do new things is that gonna is that only gonna help graffiti or yeah it's like i mean since i had it it's probably one of the one of the best things that my my, my missus has brought me like for, for christmas but it's yeah it's if you can do so much with it before you get to a wall do you know what i mean so if there's if there's a new new way of filling little effects or something you want to add that you don't know whether it's going to work when you're at the wall. At least you can play with it first. Do you know what I mean? Like you can have a proper, you think, oh, well, yeah, it looks good on here. So let's try it at the wall. Yeah, yeah. And is that how most of them start? You sort of just have a play. You think this is going to look sick. Take it to the wall, blast it up. Yeah, like recently, yeah. But uh, like up, up until I had I've had like literally everything normally just freestyle for me. Like I'll just go with what I, I do when I get to the wall. When as, as I pull up, like, Whatever, whatever mindset I'm in is what I'll, I'll do, though. Yeah, that's sick, man. That's sick. I've seen you painting characters before and all sorts. I mean, uh, is that something you like to do or is that just a part yeah, it's, that you feel you need? Yeah. I feel like a character like next to the wall, like it, 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 it fills it a bit more. Do you know what I mean? It, it, um, yeah, I, I can't see. Like sometimes when you do a really nice piece, like sometimes it still feels a bit empty without a little something on the end, like a little character or something. Right. Yeah. So, yeah, I, I enjoy characters. I enjoy doing them. That's sick. That's sick. And I, compl I completely forgot to ask. I mean, I know you used to write apps. What, what was yeah. it? Where did that come from? And what, what did that stand for? Just, just, just names I was playing with. Do you know what I mean? I mean, I've had a few. I've had a few names um, when I started. I mean, like, I, had, I think my very first name I started with was uh, e I S E S. I tried at first. Yeah. Then I had like one uh, uh, Andar or something. I, had. I was I was just playing with letters that I knew I could do nice. Yeah. And it just progressed. And the apps was a good one. I, I like the flow, but sometimes the double P in the middle was a was a real ball. Eh? Right. I used to proper play on my mind. I, I could do a really nice A, really nice S, really nice P. But to get that other P to sit in there nice used to blow my mind. That was the challenge. <laughs> yeah, that was the challenge. <laughs> and when did it switch to Ghost? When did you think, right, I'm changing? Uh, I think I did my first Ghost piece. It was about 2011, I think 2011, 2012 or something. I think I did the first piece. Uh, yeah, just, just rolled with it and it started getting like straight away like for some reason i don't know if you ever see like if you change a, a word you automatically somehow get a different flow like it's, it's mad yeah like just by flipping those letters you, you suddenly get in a different mindset where you can just flow a lot better and i was like yeah this this is me like this is what i need to do that fit what you were doing do you, do you ever feel like bringing apps back just for like just for just for old fun <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I do. I, I love the name. I love that name. It's just, 
that double P like really bothers me. But um, but yeah, I'll bring it back now and then. I'll drop a little little apps. I mean, like the, the guys are paying me like wish and that. He's always like, oh, apps is you though. That's the original. Like, do it, bring it back. Bring I'm it like, back. That, double, that double P, huh? <laughs> <laughs> and can you see yourself going on to something different? Do you think it'll be Ghost for a good while now? Uh, I suppose so, yeah, because I've built the built the foundations on it. Do you know what I mean? So, like, to, to move, I mean, is that important for a graph writer to have sort of to to be uh, to get his name just out there and out there? Yeah, because like, at the end of the day, that's you, you want your name seen. So if you're gonna if you're gonna change, keep changing and change it. I mean. I know sometimes you have to because like trouble with the law or, or whatever, but at the end of the day, you, you, you pick that name to, to get out. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. And that's, that's what I want. Like, I want someone to see someone that's like, oh, that's Ghost. Like, like, that, that's him. That's their style. That's this. Like, and it's so, yeah, I think this will be the solid setting name, to be honest. I mean, now and then if I get bored, I'll play with, with, with different words. Like, uh, I've done like, like money, smoke, yeah, uh, yeah, just mess with all different names, just just to just to keep my, my brain ticking over, really. Yeah, totally, totally. And uh, <laughs> you know, that's going to have affected a lot of graffiti writers at the moment with not being able. A, a lot of guys haven't been able to get out to paint. Um, I mean, do you think there's going to be a lot of rusty writers out when it's all over? Nah, I don't, I, to be honest, I think with graffiti, it's like riding a bike. Like once once you know the gist of it, you you can do it. Yeah. I mean, you might have a few shaky hands to start, but but after it's a better, couple of goals, you come back stronger. Yeah, yeah, because I mean, you, you see it, you see it with a lot of old writers, like like that might have been out of the game for a very long time, but they come back, pick up a can, give it a few times, it, it's there. Do you know what I mean? That that it's still there. So I think it's not something you ever lose. No, it's like riding a bike. <laughs> yeah. Serious. What 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 do you think's gonna happen? Going forward, I mean, we're coming out of this lockdown now where they're easing it a bit and everything's getting slightly back to normal. Do you think there's ever going to be sort of graffiti jams, 60 people painting in a yard or that sort of thing going down? I think I think it will. It'll just, I think the, um, it'll be a lot more managed. Do you know what I mean? I mean, we have a graffiti jam. It's you, you, You've kind of got the distance anyway. Do you know what I mean? You've all got your set places where you're painting. What yeah. it comes down to is, is is how you handle, like obviously everyone coming together, like when they're, when they're chilling and talking. But if anything comes out of this pandemic, it's it's just taught people to be a lot cleaner. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, it's it's simple things that you get taught as kids that, like, as you grow up as adults, you forget. Like, yeah. even just going out, you, like people don't come back and wash their hands or, or you know, like just common decency, like like. You don't get in people's faces and be talking them. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like, sure. It's just, just being clean and being respectful of, of, of other people's, you know, um, boundaries and that. Yeah, hundred percent. I mean, people just need to look out for each other as well as themselves and not be so selfish. I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. That's sick. And then, and just before we end it up, is there anywhere that you sort of haven't been that you want to be, you want to go to paint? Um, I mean, you've been pretty much everywhere in the UK, but is there anywhere that sort of a spot that you've not been able to get to for any reason? Or uh, I don't, I don't, I'd, I'd, everywhere they, like, I'd love to paint the place. I mean, I'd love to start uh, as my kids and that get older, and I'd love, I'd love to start going abroad again and stuff. Because I mean. I talk to a lot of like through social media and I talk to a lot of people from different countries yeah. and I'd love to start visiting them and doing some, some walls. Do you know what I mean? Advantage of them. So, yeah. Yeah, definitely. That's the best part because you can just go out to, I mean, take your family next thing, you know, you, you are meeting all the locals, you go into the best places. It's sort of, it's the best thing in the world. Yeah. It's as I say, new faces, new styles new adventures I'd, I'd love to do that in the future like if like, you know if the if the world allows me but uh, yeah and you just you just plan on painting forever i mean it's it, you're not sort of planning on ending it retiring nah, and hanging no up no uh, i'm gonna still i'm gonna still be painting for as long as these legs carry me to be honest <laughs> see you can totally respect that man i love seeing old guys at it man it's sick nice one man <laughs> but thanks so much for giving us some time, man. I mean, it's been wicked. 
Uh, I, w- I wanted to get you on this from the start, so it's a pleasure to get you to speak to you, man. It's really wicked. Yeah, man, no problem, Rami. What you do and that for, for like the graph, graph community and that is amazing. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, so only respect your way, bro. I mean, uh, you look after. I mean, that jam. I mean, I come to the yard jam with you, and <laughs> one of the best jams I've been to. You can't get more hospitality than oh, you provided. Do you know what I mean? It's amazing. Means the world. It means the world to me, bro. And you're always welcome. I mean, uh, we want to work on some sick projects this year and get some sick stuff going down. Yeah, definitely, bro, definitely. Oh, that's awesome, man. That's awesome. And for everybody else watching, I'm going to put links to everything we've t- discussed below. I mean, Ghost's YouTube channel, his Instagram, anybody we've talked about. Um, I can't thank you enough for watching. If you want to see anybody else on the channel, you just need to comment below. Don't forget to subscribe and support. And thanks very much for watching. Bye. Nice one. <laughs>